Hello. I am a sweaty ass mess, so don't mind that. But hi guys. I know it hasn't been that long since you saw me, but I haven't vlogged in like two weeks. The last video I vlogged was like my beauty maintenance stuff, prepping for my birthday and all of that. But I had such a good birthday. Thank you to everyone for all the birthday wishes. And it was so much fun. I pretty much celebrated for like an entire week. <laughs> I had a few friends from my hometown come down to visit me and we just went out to eat a lot, hung out by the pool. And then on Saturday, that's when we did like the big celebration. And I got a big group of people together. Me and the girls went on a boat ride on the river downtown. It was beautiful. We got some of the best pictures because we went at sunset and it was just, I couldn't have asked for a better day, honestly. Like it was just so fun and just so incredible and everything worked out perfectly. We drank some bottles of champagne on the boat. We were playing music. It was so much fun. And then we went out to dinner and we met up with a even bigger group and like all the guys um, for sushi. And that was super good. And then after that, we went out downtown and went dancing and stuff. And I took a little bit of time off from working and from YouTube, which was nice. It was nice for me to just like unplug and kind of reset a little bit. And I've just been slowly easing back into things. I started back at the salon this past weekend and I've been editing and cleaned up my apartment. And I feel like I'm just kind of slowly like getting back into my normal routine. And now here we are, we're vlogging. I just got back from the gym, hence why I look like this and I'm all sweaty. I started a new workout routine this week and I'm really loving it. I actually downloaded the Believe app by Kim French. I've been following her on Instagram for a while and yeah, she has her own app and it's really well done but anyway i am gonna go hop in the shower and get ready i need to leave here in about an hour um i have one client at the salon today and she's a color correction so <laughs> and i love color corrections i really do but i'm gonna be honest like today it is so hot and sunny outside i would much rather just go lay by the pool but I'm gonna go get ready. Um, you can't even see my outfit because of <laughs> this lighting. Let's do it like this. There we go. I got these shorts on clearance at Abercrombie when I was home visiting my family for Christmas and they've just been sitting in my closet and I was waiting for summer and short season to wear them and I completely forgot about them. And then this oversized Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I want to say it's probably from Boohoo or Misguided. And I'm wearing my Steve Madden platform slides. And this necklace from Uncommon James that my boss got me for my birthday. And I just threw my hair up in a claw clip because it's a little crazy. It is several hours later. I am getting ready for bed. I think it's because I started this new workout program this week because like my whole body just feels so sore and achy and I just feel so exhausted. But I don't feel like I'm getting sick or anything like that. I just physically feel like drained like my body is just going through it and I just feel like I need extra rest and I also got my extensions tightened and like reinstalled a couple days ago and that's really tight so I feel like that is giving me a headache too and I am just not feeling great but my client went really well and thank you so much Merlin for coming in it was so great meeting you you were so sweet and I'm really sorry I 
whenever I have a new client, but especially someone that follows me online and says that they watch my YouTube videos, I always want to make sure that I'm like getting to spend that time and talk and get to know them and all of that but it was so busy at the salon today we were literally just shoved in this station in the corner it was very cramped and there were so many people so it was very loud i could barely hear what she was saying and there was nowhere for me like while she was processing to sit near her or, like stand around and chit chat I felt like I was just in the way, so we didn't really get to talk or hang out as much as I would have liked to. I hope that the next time you come to get your hair done, it'll be a little bit less chaotic at the salon and we can chat a little bit more. But yeah, she had a lot of artificial black dye in her hair and she had used box dye on her hair. So my biggest concern was keeping it healthy i was really nervous about it getting really damaged especially because she said she wanted to keep her hair as long as possible i didn't want to destroy it and then end up having to cut off a bunch of inches and like devastate her i always feel like it's better to keep the health and integrity of the hair because even if you can achieve a nice light color if the condition of the hair is crap it's just not gonna look good no matter what so Healthy hair is always going to be the prettiest. So I used 15 volume developer to keep it like nice and gentle and I let it process without any heat and I made sure to not like wrap the hair up too much. I kept everything like nice and clean and just like double layered my foils and I just left it until it basically stopped doing anything. And it lifted to about a level seven, six-ish in some spots. But luckily she wasn't looking to be super light. And the inspiration picture she showed me was warm anyway. When I went to try to take her after pictures, it was so humid outside that my lens just kept fogging up. And I wasn't able to get good pictures, unfortunately. But yeah, I washed my face. Now I put my Nivea cream on. This is what I do every night before bed. I'm gonna go drink a bunch of water and lay in bed and go to sleep soon. Happy Friday. I'm really excited for today. I've been looking forward to this all week. I was doing some video editing this morning, but then I realized the time and I was like, I should probably stop so I can start getting ready. I've just been feeling kind of blah all week. I haven't had my hair styled, I haven't worn any makeup, and I've just, I don't know, I just wanna feel cute today. And I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend Haley. I'm gonna do her hair, she just needs to get her roots touched up, and then we are gonna go out to dinner after, and then go get some drinks, and we're gonna go try out this new place that I think pretty sure they just opened recently and it looks really cute and they have a lot of interesting cocktails i'm hoping that the weather will hold up it's been really weird this whole week we've had thunderstorms but it's not all day like it'll just kind of pass through for a little while it looks like it is supposed to rain in a little while but then just cloudy the rest of the evening so that's good so yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower i'll see you when i am all ready to go and i'll show you my outfit and all that good stuff i am ready it did start pouring like absolute torrential downpours and it was scary out there like zero visibility it was so dark the rain was coming down so hard and then all of a sudden it stopped and the sun came out i added some beach waves to my hair with my little hair crimper thingy and then i'm wearing this cropped tank top from cotton on these pants here i'll show you the full length can you see them they're just like really flowy and they're super old from Uniqlo and this cropped denim jacket is from American Eagle. I actually just saw a very very similar one at H&M when I was in the store a week or two ago and then I'm just wearing these simple slides from Target. I am going to go take Benny out really quick 
and then go pick up my friend. survived somehow it wasn't even that crazy of a night honestly but i did have a lot to drink i had a really good time last night and it felt good to have my hair and makeup done and just like feel cute have a fun time with my friend try new places i don't know i just feel like the thing about going out and drinking is nowadays and this really only started happening to me like within the last year or two but i feel like i just constantly get hangover anxiety when i drink i have a good time when i'm out but then once i get home and i go to sleep even if i feel okay like i'll be sure to like cut myself off at a certain point drink a lot of water all of that but i don't know like then i'll just lay there and i get so afraid that I'm going to feel sick or that I'm gonna be hungover in the morning, my anxiety just starts going crazy and I feel like that's what ends up making me feel shitty physically. The anxiety more so than the drinking. And then I just can't sleep and it's, I don't know. And that's what happened to me last night too. And I think because I knew that I had work the next morning and even though I set multiple alarms, drank a bunch of water before I went to bed, like I knew everything was gonna be good, but I just had such bad anxiety and I could not fall into a deep sleep. And I kept having dreams that I overslept and ended up missing all of my clients. So I ended up waking up before my alarms and uh yeah i don't know so we'll see how i end up feeling later on today as of right now i feel okay though i had some coffee when i got up i'm gonna make myself a bagel before i leave and it was so humid last night my hair's a frizzy mess all my waves are gone so i'm just gonna touch that up but today i have four clients <laughs> My first client is just coming in for a consultation and we're gonna do a test strand on her hair. So that'll be a really quick, easy appointment. And then my second client, I've done her hair before. She is a sweet angel. She's just coming in for a single process to just get her roots touched up. And then my third client, I didn't talk to her, so I'm not 100% sure. She spoke to my coworker on the phone and that coworker is not a hairstylist. So it's not entirely clear what she's getting done because she's down for a highlight haircut. And then my last client, this will be the second time I'm doing her hair and she just gets baby lights to blend her grays. And then as soon as I get home from work, I'm probably honestly just going to make something to eat and then go to bed. <laughs> and luckily tomorrow I don't have anything going on so i will be able to sleep in and get caught up on the sleep that i didn't get last night good morning happy monday let me catch you up on saturday it ended up being a good day like my clients were all great and for the most part considering <laughs> everything ended up running really smoothly and shout out to my coworker Mackenzie because she did help me out at the end with one of my last clients she blow dried her and styled her for me which was so nice so I was able to finish like 30 minutes sooner than I would have 
and that way my client didn't have to like sit around and wait because at one point I had my last two clients and they were both like caught up to each other. So they both just needed to be blow dried and styled. It was like right at the end. And I was like, ooh, this is nice. Is this what it's like to have an assistant? Anyway, but um, let me show you. So I get to work and I wasn't even there for an hour yet. It was like maybe 30 minutes into me being there and I am walking along, I'm going to the color room to go mix my bowl of color and my shoe I was wearing these H&M sandals that I've had for a few years now. They're like kind of inspired by the Doc Martin platform sandals. The buckle that like holds this strap in place just snapped. So basically I had it on my foot like this. Like the top strap was not strapped in so it was like hanging off of my foot like that. So I had to work pretty much the entire day like that. But I was like, you know what? I had been wanting some real Doc Martin sandals for a while. And I'm like, now that these broke, I, I'm gonna take that as my sign from the universe that I should just order the real ones. So I did. And I ordered them directly from the Doc Martin website. So I was able to get a discount code. If you like sign up for emails, you get, I think it was 15% off. And I'm super excited. I ordered them Saturday night and they already shipped out, so they should be here sometime this week. But yeah, and then I went to go mix up lightener for my third client, and we were completely out. Don't know how that happened. Luckily, the owner was there because they were doing a wedding. That was also what added to the chaos, because normally on Saturdays, it's like very chill, and it's usually just me in the hair room and maybe like one or two other girls at the most but they were doing a wedding so there was a huge bridal party there were just a lot of people there it was very busy it was very loud it was like very overstimulating. so that was a little crazy but luckily the owner was there doing makeup for the wedding so i was able to pull her aside and be like um do we have any like backup anywhere because there is no bleach and i need it now so she sent one of the assistants out to the store to run and grab some because I guess she had placed an order and it was supposed to come earlier in the week and it didn't. Luckily, there were like some random little packets of different kinds of bleach that I was able to mix up and make do. And the client had no idea. Everything worked out fine. So, you know, crisis averted, thank God. But because I was like so back to back and working under a time crunch and double booked and all of that, I wasn't able to get as much content, unfortunately. By the time I was done, I just wanted to clean up, get home. My social battery was done. I didn't even have the energy to pull out my camera and vlog or anything. I was just like, mm, I'm done. And then Sunday, yesterday, I barely left my bed. Like I literally just needed that day to catch up on sleep and to just sit in silence. Now it's Monday. I woke up nice and early this morning, did a little bit of cleaning. I have the dishwasher going washing machine going and now I am getting ready to leave to go get my nails done and I'm very excited because of this one I have not broken a nail in years like especially ever since I started getting acrylic and the hard gel and like all that kind of stuff I got these done on my birthday these were my birthday nails and they were beautiful she did such a good job and then literally I got home not even an hour after getting them done I went to go open the door to my bathroom and somehow the nail like the tip of it got caught in like the crevice of the doorknob i have no idea and it literally just cracked my nail like super deep so i went and got it like sealed up with acrylic and it was good for a while but then over time the crack started coming back and then eventually it was grown out long enough that i could just chop it off so i did and it's been looking like this for about a week and I am just excited to go get them looking nice and fresh. I'm gonna ask her to put a tip on this nail to match it up with the rest. And I wanna do a bright neon color for summer, so I'm excited. Then I'm gonna come straight back here, go work out so I can get that over with. And then my friend Haley is coming over and we're gonna bring our laptops down to the pool and sit outside, get some work done, have a pool day. Because today is my day off from the salon, but I do have a video that I need to finish editing. And I'm looking forward to spending some time outside, especially since Saturday and Sunday I was inside the whole time.
got my nails done. I love this color so much. This is exactly what I wanted, like a really bright neon yellowy green. I'm excited though, I had a whole bunch of packages. My North Carolina license plate finally came in, but I got some PR stuff. Milk Makeup sent me something, and then I got this huge box from Liquid IV. Ooh, okay, this is good. This is their Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I love a cleansing balm. Ooh, I'm excited to use that. And I just ran out of makeup wipes too, so this is perfect timing. And then this is their Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard amazing things about this stuff. And this is perfect because I feel like now that it's summer and it's been like so hot and humid, I could definitely use a good primer. Ooh, that feels nice. Then we have the Kush Mascara, High Volume Conditioning Mascara. I love the packaging. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be nice. I like the wand and it seems like it's a drier formula, which is what I prefer. And then they sent a long wear eyeliner in the shade Outer Space. It looks like it's just a black. Yeah, oh nice. And then we got two lip and cheek creamy sheer blush and lip color. One is in the shade quickie and the other is in the shade work. Ooh, I like these a lot. I like that they're not super, super opaque. So the darker one is quickie and then that one is work. So pretty, ooh, I kind of want to put this on my lips right now. Oh, it smells really good too. And then lastly, they sent me the Kush Clear Brow Gel. I love a brow gel. Ooh, I like how little the wand is. This I could actually apply right now. So yeah, that's all the stuff for milk. Thank you so much. I am so, so appreciative of that. I'm so excited to use all that stuff. Oh my God. This is what they sent me. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh, and it's Velcro too. Oh my God, you, I. Excuse me, did you, did you hear that? The box talks. This is the fanciest PR package I have ever received. Look at it, and it's like multi levels. There's literally drawers. I don't even know where to begin. Look at this. And then there's a drawer down here. So all of these are sugar free. The lemon lime flavor, white peach, oh my god, I that I'm the most excited about. I love peach anything. Green grape, that sounds good too. No way. So they sent me a baseball cap, zero regrets. Love that. I literally wear a hat every time when I go to the pool or go to the beach. So cute. They sent me a water bottle. Oh my God, what is, is this like a little, a little strap? Oh my God, so cute. And then they sent me a speaker. Are you freaking kidding me? Thank you so much, Milk. Thank you so much, Liquid IV. I appreciate it so much. And thank you to you guys for being here and for watching me and allowing me to have these opportunities. It's, I'm gonna clean up this stuff and then Go downstairs, head to my apartment gym, doing another lower body workout, which I am not looking forward to, but I'm just gonna go get it over with. Haley actually is doing her workout right now too. So by the time I'm finished, she should be getting here and then we're gonna go head down to the pool. Good morning. It is Wednesday. 
I didn't vlog anything yesterday. I just stayed home all day, worked from home, edited and posted a video. A boring day, nothing to vlog. But this morning I am going back to the nail salon. I'm gonna get a pedicure so that my toes can match my hands. When I was there on Monday, they didn't have any extra time and I didn't think to like pre-schedule an appointment for it. It was sort of like a last minute like, oh, I kind of want my toes to match, you know, but all good. I made an appointment for this morning, so I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna come back here, get a little more computer work done because I was really falling behind with posting videos. So I wanna try to get caught up and actually kind of get ahead a little bit. And then I have a client at three o'clock at the salon. I have never done her hair before. She actually is one of my coworkers regulars but my coworker is out of town this week. So I told my coworker that I would help her out and do this client's hair for her. So we'll see how that goes because from what I've heard, it took a while to really get her hair the way she likes it. I mean, I'm just doing a touch up. So it's not like we're changing anything or doing anything different, so. Hopefully it'll be smooth sailing and it should be pretty quick because she has short hair. And then after that, I'm gonna come back home, work out, make dinner, and that'll be it for my day. So let's go head to the nail salon. That ended up taking way longer than I thought or than it should have. Now it is already 6.36 and I'm tired and I just wanna make dinner and be done for the day, but I still need to work out. I told myself that I was gonna work out today and I'm just gonna go do it and just get it over with. Hopefully this is motivating for you. Even if it's not the best workout of your entire life, it's better to just go and do it and get it over with than to not do it at all. And I know I'll feel so good about it afterwards, but yeah, I'll see you when I'm done. It always feels so good to come inside, like after I take Benny out for his last potty break, coming inside and knowing that I am in for the night, love it. I did my workout, it was all right, <laughs> but I feel good that I went and did it. I cannot wait to hop in the shower, wash my hair. I need to do like a full shower, like, shave, exfoliate, wash my hair, everything. But my Doc Martens arrived. These are the Blair. Oh, they feel so good. The material's like so soft and so high quality. Obviously I didn't like actually fasten the buckle all the way, so it's sticking out, but yeah. Cute. I love these, it's just a good sandal if you're gonna be walking a lot or like on your feet all day, which for me when I'm taking clients is perfect. But like you want something that is a little bit cuter and nicer than a pillow slide, you know? I'm gonna wear these to work this weekend and then I'll update you guys in my next vlog and let you know how I like them and like how comfy they are and stuff. But just based on first impression, I love them. They feel really good. I'll link these. Like I said, I got them directly from the Doc Martin website. And if you sign up for their emails, um, you get a discount code. And then obviously you can just unsubscribe. <laughs> it's 7.45 now. I am gonna make dinner really quick. I'm gonna do chicken, rice, and zucchini. A nice healthy dinner. And then I'm gonna take a shower, finish watching season two of The Bear, and then just go to bed. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. I'm gonna try to stay consistent for you guys and keep the content coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support and for being there, sticking around. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.